hi in this video we will see about uh, moment of a force okay moment of a force okay the moment means uh, the measure of rotational effect of a force measure of rotational effect of a force on a body is called as moment okay so for example if i take uh, uh, a door okay Okay, if I take the door, see if you apply some particular force on this door, what happens? The door will start rotating, rotating, correct? So, this rotational effect of the force on the body is called as moment of a force. Okay? So, the moment of a force or moment is nothing but the rotational effect of the force on the body. Or measure of rotational effect of the force on the body is called as moment. Okay. Now let us see how to find this moment. How to measure the moment. Basically the moment uh, depends on uh, two main factors. Okay. Two main factors. First one is uh, magnitude of the force. Magnitude of the force that is F. So whatever the magnitude of the force applied, okay, depending upon the magnitude of the force, the rotational effect will be there. Okay, if the magnitude of the force applied on this door will is high, then uh, rotational effect on the door will be high and vice versa. Okay. The second main factor is uh, perpendicular distance perpendicular distance from the line of action of force line of action of force I will call this as D ok for example if I want to rotate this door if I apply the force at this point no if I apply the force at this point at this point so I need to apply more force to rotate this door okay instead of applying the force at this point if I apply at this point at this point so with lesser force only the, the, the door will easily rotate okay therefore the moment or rotational effect of force also depends on perpendicular distance of the point from the line of action of the force. Okay. If I take D1 as distance of this first force and D2 as distance of this second force. Okay. The rotational effect of the second force will be high compared to the rotational effect of this uh, first force because uh, the distance the perpendicular distance of uh, this hinge point from the line of action of the force is higher therefore its rotational effect or the moment will be higher okay therefore the moment also depends on distance of the point from the line of action of the applied force therefore the moment okay the moment can be measured as product of force and the perpendicular distance product of force and the perpendicular distance ok so this is the formula for moment force into perpendicular distance now let us see types of moment types of <coughs> moment 
basically there are two main types of comments okay let me take one more example for that I will take one column beam joint okay here so this is the beam this part is horizontal member is beam and vertical member is column for the beam if I apply one vertical force here one vertical force of magnitude F what happens the beam will try to rotate in clockwise direction like this correct the beam will try to rotate in clockwise direction like this okay therefore if the force tends to rotate the body in clockwise direction then it is called as clockwise moment clockwise moment okay here the body is trying to rotate in clockwise direction correct therefore it is called as clockwise moment for the <coughs> same rigid body or the for the same member if i apply uh, the upward force if i apply the upward force what happens the beam will try to rotate in anti clockwise direction correct beam will try to rotate in anti clockwise direction like this it will try to rotate so it will try to rotate in anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction so if the force tends to rotate the body in anti clockwise direction then it is called as anti clockwise moment anti clockwise moment okay and the clockwise moment is represented by the positive sign and anti clockwise moment is represented by negative sign means if the force tends to rotate the body in clockwise direction it is called as clockwise moment and it is represented by positive sign if the force tends to rotate the body in anti clockwise direction then it is called as anti clockwise moment and is represented by negative sign okay now let me take one example okay we will apply one force and we will find moment of that force at different points okay I will take a rigid body for this body I will apply a force F I will apply a force F now I will consider point A above the force we consider somewhere here point A above the force let me take D1 as perpendicular distance of uh, point A from the line of action of applied force okay I'll take one more point point B below the force and let D2 be the perpendicular distance of point B from the line of action of applied force I'll consider one more point that is point C on the line of action of applied force now we will find moment about A, moment about B and moment about point C <coughs> okay therefore moment about point A moment about point A is equal to moment about point A is equal to say as we all know moment is the product of force into perpendicular distance magnitude of the force is F and perpendicular distance is D1 perpendicular distance of the point A from the line of action of applied force is D1 and coming to the sign about point A this force is tending to cause anti-clockwise rotation of the body about point A I am telling okay about point A 
force is tending to rotate the body in anti-clockwise direction. Sin is minus. Sin is minus. It is an anti-clockwise moment. Similarly, if I find moment about point B, it will be force into perpendicular distance D2. And about point B, about point B, okay, about point B, this force is tending to rotate the body in clockwise direction. So, sin is plus. Sin is plus. It is a clockwise moment. Okay, it is a clockwise moment. About point B, force is tending to rotate the body in, rotate the body in clockwise direction. Therefore, it is a clockwise moment, sin is plus. Coming to moment about point C. Moment about point C. Where we have taken the point C? We have taken the point C on the line of action of the force. Okay. So, force into perpendicular distance of the point from the line of action. Okay. So, here you can see there is no perpendicular distance of the point from the line of action. For A, we have distance D1. For B, we have distance D2. But point... For the point C, we don't have any distance. Distance is 0. So, moment about point C is 0. Therefore, if the point lies in the line of action of the force, then moment of that force about that particular point is always 0. Okay. So, this is about the moment. Okay. I glance the things once again. Moment is nothing but rotational effect of a force on the body. Okay, moment is rotational effect of a force on the body. Uh, then uh, coming to the types of moment, clockwise moment and the anti-clockwise moment. If the force tends to rotate the body in clockwise direction, then it is called as clockwise moment and it is represented by positive sign. If the force tends to rotate the body in anti-clockwise direction, then it is called as anti-clockwise moment and it is represented by negative sign. And we have uh, taken one example. We have determined moment at different points. Okay. So, this is about the moment. Thank you.